Good morning, tribe. I am coming to you in my pajamas because I wanted to be quick before the boys woke up. My awesome girl is here with me and uh, I just wanted to share some mind shift changes. I swear if you will change your perspective, you will change your business. And it's not about necessarily changing your behaviors, but maybe the way you look at them in terms of inviting and in terms of the vital behaviors and in terms of posting on social media and maybe it'll make a shift. So as part of one of the groups that I'm in with Amber, uh, Michelle Myers, who is Team Iron's uh, leader, she did a really cool live video yesterday in Real Women Conquer, Amber's team. Maybe Leslie caught it because she's a part of that group, or Nicole, um, but she was giving some insights that I really loved. One of the things she said, which I'm going to ask is your homework for today, is to write down five to ten things you are grateful for in terms of this business before you even begin to do your inviting, your power hour, any of that kind of stuff. Even if it's not something you can do every single day is to come up with this list. Maybe you just have this list written out and you look at it before you do your inviting. When you go to do this business with a grateful heart and you think of what has come from it, not what's missing, not the success club points you're lacking, not the people who are ghosting you, not the LG that flopped, whatever it is. But when you can think about what you're grateful for, you can do this in a way that regardless of how people respond to you, you know this is all good, right? You know that this is a good thing. So for example, some things that you might list could be the fact that you are healthier than ever. Maybe the fact that your family is healthier than ever. Something I can write down is that my daughter is trying to duplicate this lifestyle. She's really into this idea of being healthy and sharing this message with others. Maybe you could talk about some of the financial freedom. Um, perhaps you've been able to get your Shakeology paid for every month because of the consistency you've had. Maybe something I can even say is that you've been able to reconnect with old friends. Maybe you've made new friends. Maybe you've made a family member healthy. I can say this about my mom. Maybe you've been able to um, find confidence you didn't know existed. Maybe you've been able to restart your blog that you always wanted to. Maybe you've been able to whatever, right? But just write down five to 10 things that you are grateful for. And I would like for you to share them in the comments below because it would be really great to see the things that we as a tribe really value that this business has brought to us. And I am sitting in front of the window so you can see the, so I can get the fresh air because our air conditioner is still down. So I apologize if you are getting outside sounds or if the curtain keeps blowing in my face. Uh, so that's the first thing I want you to consider. That's your homework. Five to 10 things you are grateful for. If you could write down a new list every day before you do your power hour, awesome. But if that doesn't feel like it's going to be possible for you, make this list nice and big, put it on your vision board or put it on a post-it on your computer, make it a notes in your phone, whatever that you can revisit this list before you do your power hour. Maybe when you say your mantra, your affirmation, like I've always said that mine um, is to be productive, to be patient, and to be present. I also have my business affirmation, which is listed in my, or in our tribe redefine um, power hour form on Google. Um, so there's plenty of ways that you can kind of set your intention, but I feel like when you do this with a grateful heart, no matter what people say, it's, it's not a big deal because look at everything you've gained, so it's not that bad. The second thing I want you to consider for a mind shift change is when you get a no or a not right now or even someone who's not responding to you, don't get offended, don't get upset. Look at it as an opportunity that still exists. An opportunity that still exists. Leslie said no to me or ignored me for months before she was able to join. Now most of that time she was pregnant with Sam so she really didn't have the wherewithal to kind of join a group. But if I had given up on her, I would have missed out on one of the best coaches that I've seen. She is just so uh, clear in her vision. She's so wonderful on social media. She's so crafty. She's so clever, so relatable. And if I had let that go, you know, I started talking to her when I started this business last February and she joined in December. So it was a long go, but it was worth it because when we would talk, the times that we did connect, I'd share a recipe with her or I'd answer a question about pregnancy or something and I would just continue to give value. I didn't bother her about groups every single time we talked, but I made sure I gave her value. But I left that door open and look what came from it, which is awesome. Melissa's another one who was kind of a holdout, again, because of pregnancy. Um, but it took some time for her to get to it. And Casey, I mean, all of you really had your own journey to get on this team. Imagine if you said yes to me right away. You know, 
things may have been different, but they probably wouldn't have been this passionate and we wouldn't have been able to grow like we did if you had said yes to me right away. So it's really a blessing when someone says no, not right now, or even is ignoring you because that means there's an opportunity still there. And when that person's ready, they know that you are there. So every once in a while, touch base with them. Don't always just touch base and be like, hey, I was just wondering, have you rethought my groups? Hey, I'm having another group. Are you able to reconsider? Look back at the last message you sent where they did ghost you and say something else. I've had people where I've sent that message about a group. Oh, you liked my LG. Can I share details? And they say nothing. But now they got engaged and I'll send them a congratulations and suddenly they respond. And now I ask them about their engagement. We talk about their wedding. And when and if it feels necessary, I'll bring in the groups again. But if not, that's okay we got the communication going so a few weeks down the line maybe I can move the direction or the conversation back to that so consider that as well send recipes to people send workouts that you find online to people you know do things that are of value and don't just make your conversation about a business transaction Bob Heilig said in one of the presentations that I've shared with you that this business is like a bank account if you keep taking like buy for me join my group if we keep taking, we're gonna be in debt. So we need to keep putting money into this bank account. We need to give them recipes. We need to give them motivation. We need to give them inspiration. We need to give them value. And then when it's time for us to deduct something, there's something to take. So keep that in mind as well. I really liked that. Now, finally, the last thing I wanna talk about this morning is you're posting on social media. When you think to me, what do I post? I've had Melissa ask this recently, Karen has asked this recently, Rebecca and I have been chatting a little bit about it. When do we post those everyday things? Like how do I post something on IG stories? How do I post in my groups? Yeah, the fitness and the shakes are easy. The LGs are easy. We know they're coming, but what do we do in between? What don't you do, right? What don't you do? I mean, well, you don't do things that are divisive, right? We're not going to be sharing crazy political posts or, you know, screaming from the rooftops that everyone must breastfeed their babies, you know? I'm not saying don't post about that, but we want to be open-minded. So maybe you could share, like I was a nursing mom, like I was, I shared, nursed each of my kids for a year. Maybe I found some research about, um, you know, the best ways to keep milk supply when you return to work and pumping. Maybe I'll share that and I'll give a little bit of detail about that, right? So you can share these hot button topics, but it's how you package it that makes it a little bit softer. But your everyday life is not boring. Your everyday life is relatable. Your everyday life is the life that every other mom is having. So don't think you have nothing to share. Hey buddy! that there's nothing remarkable about your life, you're rather unremarkable, it's the unremarkable that makes us normal. Karen and I were talking about this yesterday, so if you're sitting down to fold laundry, maybe, and this doesn't have to happen every day, but maybe that's something you pop up a quick post, a picture of you like, or this crazy laundry pile, your kids throwing the laundry in the air, and just ask, you know, do you have a laundry schedule that's manageable, because I am really suffering, or, Gosh, it's, it's outdoor play season and these grass stains, what are your tips for getting rid of them? You ask people a question about your mundane everyday life and everyone's an expert. People are gonna be coming out of the woodworks trying to give you a response. The best thing to do is to ask those types of questions on your page and then share it to your personal profile. So then people can respond in both ways and then those people can be pulled into a private conversation or invited to like your page. You know, all those things happen. So don't look at them mundane as boring. Look at the mundane as relatable, as conversation starters. We all do laundry. We all do dishes. We all have houses to clean. We all have errands to run and chores and all that stuff. Like think about Leslie's posts with Amazon Fresh. That is so cool because that's something we can all connect to in one way or another. We all have this need to have to go grocery shopping and she's solving an issue by just sharing that experience with us. So do not think that your life is boring. They're fighting over the, the my Kindle Fire already. Um, so, you know, that's that. So maybe that's something I post, guys. What time is it? Is it even seven? Uh, right? Right? We know. We know this life. So anyway, I just really want you to think about that. What are you grateful for is number one. Number two, make sure your transactions are more giving than taking. And those no, not right nows, they're just more opportunities. They're good things. They're blessings. And number three, make sure you remember your everyday life is what's relatable. It's not boring. It is relatable. Oh, Christine, thank you so much. And that just reminded me of something, and now I'm going to forget. Um, oh, 
I, I on Thursdays I'm on these calls with Amber and we have to go around and share our numbers and so we have to share I, I said this to you already but our right leg volume our left leg volume our success club points our new conversations for the week so not just like hey girl messages but people have actually responded to us um, our business invites for the week as well as um, any new coaches that we have Amber is sharing her numbers as well she's at success club 30 this past week she had 67 new conversations she had 32 business invites and four new coaches so just want you to see those numbers okay it's a numbers game so if you're inviting five to ten people a week and you're getting all knows it's just because we're not inviting enough people where do we find those people that's a conversation for another day but just keep that in mind if you're wondering how coaches like her or even even me if if my numbers exciting to you it's because I'm just constantly adding to my network and trying to contact more and more and more people it's a number scheme so I will do another training on that very soon but those are my three things for today please comment below with what you're grateful for then remember, no's and not right now's, they are just more opportunities. And finally, you are not boring. You are just like everyone else. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.